YouTube, good morning. So I want to talk about uh, some stuff I added to my tire kit. And one of the things I added, well, let me stop one second and say that when we were out at the Grand Canyon last, um, one of us hit a rock and punctured our sidewall. So I just showed you a little picture of that um, sidewall. It was a pretty good gash. It was about an inch and a half gash. I was able to uh, take the tool right here, pluck in the side of it, clean it all out. And then by using a couple of plugs, I like the blackjack pubs, plugs. They don't seem like they need the goop in it. They got the goop built into it. But one of the things I noticed is I used all of my cans of air, which were great. I used one can to find the hole, and then I used three cans to finish uh, w w to put air in the tire. When I did that, I probably had about three, four pounds of air pressure, which was fine to get it off the mountain. And when you're riding out 80 miles, uh, it's about 80 miles out and 80 miles back. When you're out that far, you really need to pay attention and um, you know have the proper stuff with you. Had we not had that, I don't know what would have happened. We'd have had to stop, go get a truck and a trailer, and it would have been a mess. But by, by just having a simple plug kit, we were able to plug plug the tire and then fill it with that right fill it with these things right here so the new thing I added was uh, there's a company called powertank.com uh, and you can go google them and they sell different kits you know for about 230 bucks you can buy this right here and they give you a bottle and then they give you a bracket that mounts on your bar well I only bought this right here it's about a hundred bucks it is a hundred dollars. It's ninety nine ninety nine plus fourteen dollars shipping. This right here is twenty five dollars at any paintball store. It's just a twenty ounce um, CO two can, um, and it works great. It's it's the same thing that the power uh, at, that power tank gives you, and that will air up about three full size SUV tires, three or four SUV tires from zero to about thirty pounds of air pressure. One well, time when we were at Dumont, we actually rolled a bike and were able to rebeat the, the seeds, uh, rebeat the uh, tires. The tires came off the rims, and we were able to use this this one bottle right here, and we were able to uh, uh, reseat the uh, the rims and uh, drive the bike off the mountain. It was very cool. So by adding this these this this to the to my system now, what I'll do is I'll just roll that up into here, roll and put all this together. And then I'll just ride with my tank in the back of my, uh, in the back over here. I'll just set it up inside here. And I'll probably wrap it in something, but it'll just sit in, sit inside there. I could get a bracket and mount it to the side of the bar here, but I'm running out of bar space. And I want to get a fuel tank rack for this side. That side I put my catch can on. And so t space is getting tight on these bars. So. I've decided that I'm just going to run this inside the tank right here, inside my storage compartment. And that would give me plenty of air to uh, um, do anything that I needed to do out there. So when you're doing those long desert runs, um, I highly recommend, you know, you have a plan for what would happen if a tire, unfortunately we had a good plan and everything worked fine and we were able to get out with no problem at all. And then upgrading to this system right here. There's a couple of us now that ride with it. And between the two of us, if there's we've got five bikes, I mean, we could I could probably repair five or six tires and no problem at all. So just have a good plan, ride safe, and um, test it out once in a while. It's not bad.